Good morning, uh, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. I am Dr. Samir Kafrawi, consultant in neuroanesthesia. Uh, our topic today about hemodynamic pressure response after Mayfield scalp clamp application during craniotomies. Is it still a nightmare? Uh, actually, I joined uh, the neuroanesthesia branch uh, uh, more than 25 years ago. Uh, at our uh, very famous and uh, one of the biggest uh, teaching hospitals in Cairo, El Sahel Teaching Hospital. And uh, during uh, this long period, I, me and all my colleagues were actually suffering from uh, the uh, application of the Mayfield scalp clamp. So today, we, our objectives will be firstly, description of Mayfield scalp clamp, uh, secondly, uh, discussing hazards of its application. Thirdly, hemodynamic pressure effects of a scalp clamp. And consequently, the modalities uh, 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 to attenuate these effects and, of course, uh, our take home messages. Firstly, to describe the Mayfield scalp clamp, uh, uh, actually, most of us, as a neuroanesthetist or a neurosurgeons, know Mayfield scalp clamp very well. Uh, uh, it's a very, uh, it's a, it's a, a, a metal uh, device, fit, a head fixing machine, uh, which we use to fix the uh, the head during intracranial operations. Why fix fixing the head? This is simply because during uh, intracranial uh, uh, operations, like brain tumors, uh, vascular surgeries, any minute movement in the uh, uh, in the head will disturb the, the act uh, uh, of the surgeon, especially with the advances of using uh, 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 endoscopies and uh, microscopic surgeries. This one was, uh, 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 as we uh, know from its name, Mayfield, was invented by, by Dr. Mayfield in 1973 in conjunction with his colleague George Keyes. Uh, but actually, when I went deep in history, I was surprised that this is not the first pin holder described. Uh, Dr. Gardner, in 1935, uh, 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 illustrated his primitive uh, uh, pin holder. Uh, and it was very primitive, as we see from the photo, with only two pins bilateral without any shoulder or joints uh, to. Uh, accommodate uh, the position of the head and he described this uh, uh, primitive one for only for the sitting position as we see from our photo uh, hazards of and the immediate response of uh, of uh, the mayfield or pin holder uh, as we can imagine uh, there is a metal uh, device you are putting with vigorous uh, power to the periosteum of the patient and depressing until it goes deep in the periosteum, you can imagine what can happen. If you are uh, 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 lucky, uh, you will never meet uh, 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 or face uh, any complication of these uh, complications, of course, because uh, this is a, a, a nightmare, actual nightmare. Uh, Dr. Bourrien and his colleagues uh, uh, summarized the hazards of this application and enumerated uh, some hazards. Uh, firstly, air embolism. If you are hitting a sinus directly over a sinus, uh, you may be faced with air embolism, of course. Uh, broken clamp, and I had never uh, 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 faced this uh, hazard uh, in my career life. Uh, dure lacerations, uh, skull fractures we uh, uh, face many times, epidural hematomas many times, traumatic aneurysm of the superficial vessels, uh, traumatic middle meningeal injury, arterial arteriovenous fistulas, sinus fractures with cerebrospinal fluid leak, uh, and this is uh, the uh, citation of the uh, of Dr. Br uh, Brian uh, uh, article. Uh, fortunately, most of these hazards are rare, uh, except to the skull fractures and epidural hematomas. Uh, but actually, when I uh, went back in history, in 1984, I uh, uh, found this, this article 
uh, it's it's actually a clinical case or clinical report uh, 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 made by Dr. Pertz and uh, his colleagues. Uh, he described in this article only the uh, a, a case of air embolism during the application of the Mayfield. But uh, what was perfect for me is the recommendations done by Dr. Pertz and his colleague uh, uh, at the end of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, their paper, and they recommended uh, firstly to avoid bin type head holder whenever possible. And this is a very precious advice uh, by Dr. Pert, because uh, most of neurosurgeons, especially junior one, are using bin type head holder whenever uh, he should no, he, he is not in a bad need for this during evacuation of extra uh, 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 dural hematoma you don't need to use the the, the pin type head holder uh, you can use horseshoe uh, 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 for example uh, secondly place it with gentle care uh, don't do vigorous or over power to uh, to uh, 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 insert the pins and of course, take care, be away from major vessels. Use abundant amount of sealing ointment around the pins. And this is actually, I didn't uh, see in my life. Uh, they usually, uh, most of the, all the neurosurgeons uh, are not using this sealing uh, ointment. Uh, but this, uh, this advice should be revised. Remove it when, when there is no gradient between head and the heart level, and this is very important because if the head is down in Trindlinberg, if the head is not in down position, uh, like in Trindlinberg, uh, if it's up or whatever the, uh, the, the, the heart level, you may be faced with uh, air embolism. These four uh, uh, advices uh, done by Dr. Bertz uh, uh, was very respectable for me, uh, actually. Uh, but as we as as we say, it's not uh, uh, common to face uh, one of these hazards. But the one you will face with every patient uh, every day is the immediate response after the application. It's the painful uh, stimulus uh, 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 done by the, this application. And we can summarize this in this slide. Manual insertion through the preostium of the pens, of course, will give rise to a, a sudden and severe noxious stimulus. It will result in severe and potential pressure response, hemodynamic, with increase, uh, sudden uh, increase in the mean arterial blood pressure and the heart rate. And this is very dangerous because if you have, have a patient with a coexisting cardiac problem, this will be very detrimental for him. And even in, 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 in healthy patients, uh, these effects will increase the intracranial pressure, which, as we said, not welcomed in, during intracranial surgeries. So, a lot of researchers, a uh, 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 long uh, uh, time ago, tried to uh, find a, a perfect modality to attenuate uh, this response. A lot of modalities have been described. Firstly, infiltration of local anesthetic at the site uh, uh, of pens, complete heart block, uh, complete scalp block, sorry, polis doses of opioids, ketamine, clonidine, dexamidotomidine, magnesium sulfate, and a lot of new trials are undergoing uh, uh, now. Uh, firstly, the local anesthetic infiltration, of course, is the basic one to infiltrate or to inject local anesthetic at the sites supposed to be the sites of the insertion of the pins. But actually, uh, what's happening in most of cases, because this step uh, uh, usually done is done by the uh, junior neurosurgeon, uh, uh, they block sites supposed to be the sites of the, of the insertion, and during adjustment of the head, they put the pins away from the uh, blocked uh, sites. Uh, so, there is no result from from the uh, or the no, no use from the block done uh, uh, at the first sites. Uh, this is firstly described comprehensively by Dr. Aisha Arshad. Uh, this was in uh, uh, actually in uh, uh, 2013. Uh, we can use lidocaine 
uh, either lidocaine, uh, but w as we know, it's uh, a short acting one. Usually, we use it uh, uh, for to attenuate the sympathetic response of laryngoscopy and the endotracheal intubation, one to one to five milligram per kg. Uh, uh, it's a very simple, uh, 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 unexpensive, uh, 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 available everywhere, uh, but short uh, acting. Uh, below 30 minutes after its application. So uh, sometimes we shift to use bibovacaine for a longer duration uh, of action. For that reason of mishaps during the inject injecting in the exact sites, uh, Dr. Uh, Osborne uh, uh, in his uh, article uh, actually described comprehensively uh, to how, to, how to do a complete scalp block. But actually, uh, the uh, scalp block needs uh, uh, a very uh, 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 a longer uh, 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 time and uh, a more effort to block at least five nerves each side uh, to block the scalp totally. Supraorbital nerve, supratrochlear nerve, auricular temporal, temporal nerve, greater and lesser occipitals. And each one of these will consume from three to five ml of local anesthetic. So uh, it's time consuming, need experience uh, to inject uh, in the exact nerve locations, and a huge amount of local anesthetic will be injected. This gives rise to uh, uh, everyone to know what the expected side effects of local anesthetic, uh, especially with this scal uh, complete scalp uh, block. Uh, inadvertent intravascular injection, which will give rise to high serum level, and it will give uh, to uh, would lead to toxicity and the cardiac depression, especially if injected directly in the internal carotid artery. Subarachnoid injection, uh, especially uh, 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 while we are blocking less, lesser occipital nerve, would give rise to shallow respiration and the loss of consciousness. Uh, uh, in a week during a week craniotomies. Facial nerve is proximal to uh, our injecting site, so can be blocked easily with the facial nerve uh, paralysis. Uh, researchers started to study the uh, use of ketamine, which is uh, uh, IV uh, uh, induction uh, uh, drug, uh, to use it uh, to attenuate uh, this uh, uh, this effect, as we know, ketamine is an AMDA receptor uh, 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 blocker. It's involved in pain modulation uh, at the level of the spinal cord and sensitization of the nice receptors. Uh, they antagonize; they, they uh, uh, lack the intrinsic uh, analgesic uh, properties, and uh, their effect is mainly mediated through inhibiting central sensitization. Uh, it's widely used, but actually ketamine has a very undesirable side effect, which is the, in the increase in the intracranial pressure, tachycardia, and the high blood pressure. And again, these three things are not welcomed at all during intraoperative, uh, intraoperatively in neurosurgery. Clonidine as an uh, alpha-2 agonist had been uh, used as an antihypertensive and was studied to uh, to be used to attenuate uh, the increase in mean arterial blood pressure through its sympathetic and the neuroendocrine response. We give coronadine oral preparations in a doses from three to five microgram per kg one hour before the pin's insertion. Uh, it has a peak uh, starting the, the action after one minute and the peak of uh, uh, five minutes after the insertion of the pins. Dexamidetomidine was recently introduced a few years ago uh, and it's also an uh, alpha-2 adrenal receptor agonist. It's widely used for its uh, 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 reduction of the central nervous system sympathetic outflow. Uh, we give usually one microgram per kg over 10 minutes at induction time or after intubation immediately. 
in this study, uh, Dr. Paul compared between the dexamethamidine and local uh, lignocaine, and he found that both are, uh, and the uh, dexamethamidine was comparable to even the local anesthetic, but actually it's associated with significantly higher incidence of hypotension and the bradycardia. Gabapentin, a few years ago, was introduced also uh, 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 as a new generation of anti-epileptic, uh, and it has anti uh, properties, uh, and it has a favorable post-operative outcome in the form of reduced pain scores, lower opioid consumption, and lower incidence of uh, post-operative nausea and vomiting. But again, a high level of sedation and delayed tracheal extubation were noticed in the PACO. Uh, in this study, Dr. Misra uh, studied the gabapentin pre-medication and he uh, gave 900 mg of gabapentin orally two hours before the induction of anesthesia, but it was accompanied by local scalp infiltration and it was evidently based that it attenuated the hemodynamic response of the uh, 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 scalp clamp. In our institute, uh, three years ago in Sah at Sahel Teaching Hospital, we started to uh, study the magnesium sulfate uh, uh, as a single dose for the first time to attenuate this, uh, this response. And we published this paper, uh, this article uh, in 2019, uh, the effect of intravenous single dose of magnesium sulfate on attenuation of hemodynamic pressure response after Mayfield scalp clamp during caninotomies. And during the, our study, uh, 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 we gave, we administered the uh, infusion of 50 mg per kg magnesium sulfate diluted in 100 ml normal saline over 15 minutes before induction of anesthesia. Uh, and as we know, magnesium sulfate is a non-competitive in the methyl aspartate and a calcium a channel, a channel blocker, and it works centrally and peripherally, centrally through uh, uh, the nociceptive sensitization and peripherally by reducing the catecholamine release. And our results shows that uh, the effect started at the benz site, uh, at the, the benz insertion time, uh, and for, uh, subsequently at 60 seconds, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and so on. And it was significantly uh, 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 reduced in the uh, magnesium uh, group uh, comparably, comparable to the uh, uh, saline or control group, either the heart rate and, as we see, the mean arterial pressure. Even though the use of rescue opioids during the insertion of the of the clamps in the magnesium group only two patients need needed uh, this rescue opioids uh, 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 out of total of 30 patients in each group uh, on the other group 16 patients need uh, uh, this rescue opioids and this was uh, our conclusion that magnesium sulfate can be used freely without any side effects uh, uh, to attenuate uh, these effects. Uh, after this, uh, after this uh, summary of uh, of uh, uh, the modalities, different modalities uh, which had been described uh, to attenuate this this uh, uh, undesirable effects of, of uh, Mayfield scalp clamp, we can summarize that for the neuroanesthetist. Uh, you must be uh, grateful because nowadays you have a lot of modalities which you can use uh, freely uh, and tailor to your patients. Many strategies were proved to attenuate the pressure effect following the scalp clamp and you can of course use whatever suits, uh, 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 suits you, your uh, experience and your institute uh, of course. Secondly, for every patient, each choice must be tailored to his pre-operative status and although, although the anesthetist's previous experience. Thirdly, more than one modality can be used at a time. You can uh, join two or three more uh, modalities, not only to attenuate, but even to abolish this effect safely. And we sure we can uh, conclude that 
there is no more nightmares. Take home messages for neurosurgeons. Please don't use pen head holders unless when mandatory. If you don't need, don't use. Secondly, be gentle during its application. You are, uh, you are applying a metal inside the periosteum, so be gentle. Thirdly, be away from sinuses and the major vessels uh, 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 when expected. Revise regularly the anatomy of the head and neck and be away from these dangerous structures. Remove while head is down in Trendelenburg position. Don't uh, uh, remove the pins while the head is above the level of the heart because you will be faced with a very uh, 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 annoying actual nightmare which is air embolism uh, thank you uh, uh, my colleagues and everyone is welcome to put his comment uh, under the uh, uh, the video and any inquiry we will uh, uh, reply uh, soon inshallah thank you